Welcome to Morning with Mai. I'm so glad that you have found our community. If you are looking for a place where you can read through the entire Bible in one year, you have found us. I am here. It is my goal to read through the entire Holy Bible for 2024. And this is Thursday, January 18th. And if today is the first time that you have found me, I encourage you to stay with me the whole year and you would have read through the whole cycle of the entire Bible. And before we get started for our reading in the book of Genesis, I'd like to take this moment to celebrate those of you that are having January 18th birthday by singing, Happy Birthday to you! Happy Birthday to you! Happy Birthday to my dear! January 18th birthday, darlings, and many more. <laughs> and in honor of your birthday, I have made this swan balloon for you. And the swans say, happy birthday to you too. At this point, I'd like for you to open your Bible to the book of Genesis. We will be reading chapters 49 and 50. These are the last two chapters in the book of Genesis. And we will be concluding and finishing up the book of Genesis today. Now, for those of you that would like to download a Bible app instead of reading from the actual Bible, I recommend the Gideon website. They have a free Bible app that has over 1,800 languages and many different versions. I am using the King James Version of the Holy Bible. So with that, let's start reading chapter 49. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together, that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. Gather yourselves together, and hear ye sons of Jacob, and hearken unto Israel your father. Reuben, thou art my firstborn, my might, and the beginning of my strength, the excellencies of dignity, and the excellency of power. Unstable as water, thou shalt not excel, because thou wentest up to thy father's bed, then defile thou it. He went up to my couch. Simeon and Levi are brethren. Instruments of cruelty are in their habitations. O my soul, came not thou into their secret, unto their assembly, my honor be not thou united, for in their anger they slew a man, and in their cell will they digged down a wall. Cursed be their anger, for it was fierce, and their wrath, for it was cruel. I will divide them in Jacob, and scatter them in Israel. Judah, Judah thy, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thy enemies. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. Judah is a lion's whelp. From the prey, my son, thou art gone up. He stooped down and he couched as a lion. And as an old lion, who shall rouse him up? The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet. Until Shiloh come and unto him shall be the gathering of the people the people be by binding his foe into the vine and his asses colt unto the joyous vine he washed his garments in wine and his clothes in the blood of grapes his eyes shall be red with wine and his teeth white with milk zebulun shall dwell at the havens of the sea and he shall be for a haven of ships and his border shall be unto Zidon. Issachar is a strong ass couching down between two burdens. And he saw that rest was good, and the land that it was pleasant, and bowed his shoulder to bear, and became a servant unto tribute. 
Then shall judge his people as one of the tribes of Israel. Then shall be a serpent by the way, an adder in the path, that biteth the horse's heel, so that his rider shall fall backward. I have waited for thy salvation, O Lord. Gad, a troop shall overcome him, but he shall overcome at the last. Out of Asher his bread shall be fat, and he shall yield royal dainties. Naphtali is a hind let loose. He giveth goodly words. Joseph is a fruitful bow, even a fruitful bow by a well, whose branches run over the wall. The archers have sorely grieved him, and shot at him, and hated him. But his bow abode in strength, and the arms of his hands were made strong by the hands of the mighty God of Jacob. From thence is the shepherd, the stone of Israel, even by the God of thy father, who shall help thee, and by the Almighty, who shall bless thee with blessings of heaven above, blessings of the deep that lieth under, blessings of the breast and of the womb. The blessings of thy father have prevailed above the blessings of my progenitors, unto the utmost bound of the everlasting hills they shall be on the head of joseph and on the crown of the head of him that was separate from his brethren and benjamin shall raven as a wolf in the morning he shall devour the prey and at night he shall divide the spoil and these are the twelve tribes of israel and this is it that their fathers spake unto them and blessed them and every one according to his blessings, he blessed them. And he charged them and said unto them, I am to be gathered unto my people. Bury me with my fathers in the cave that is in the field of Ephraim the Hittite, in the cave that is in the field of Machpelah, of Mashpelah, of Machpelah, which is before Mamre, in the land of Canaan, which Abraham bought in the field of Ephron the Hittite for a possession of a burying place. There they buried Abraham and Sarah his wife. There they buried Isaac and Rebekah his wife. And there I buried Leah. The purchase of the field and of the cave that is therein was from the children of Heth. And when Jacob had made an end of commanding his sons, he gathered up his feet unto the bed and yielded up the ghost and was gathered unto his people. And that concluded chapter 49 of the book of Genesis. We will now read chapter 50 of the book of Genesis. And Joseph fell upon his father's face and wept upon him and kissed him. And Joseph commanded his servants, the physicians to embalm his father and the, and the physicians embalmed Israel. <clears throat> and forty days were fulfilled for him, and so are fulfilled for the days of those which are embalmed, and the Egyptians mourned for him threescore and ten days. And when the days of his mourning were past, Joseph spake unto the house of Pharaoh, saying, If now I have found grace in your eyes, speak, I pray you, in the ears of Pharaoh, saying, My father made me swear, saying, Lo, I die in my grave which I have digged for me in the land of Canaan. There shalt thou bury me. Now therefore let me go up, I pray thee, and bury my father, and I will come again. And Pharaoh say, Go up and bury thy father, according as he made thee swear. And Joseph went up to bury his father, and with him went up all the servants of Pharaoh, the elders of his house, and all the elders of the land of Egypt. And all the house of Joseph, and his brethren, and his father's house, only their little ones, and their flocks, and their herds, they left in the land of Goshen. And there went up with him both chariots and horsemen, and it was a very great company. And they came to the threshing floor of Atad, of Atad and is beyond, which is beyond Jordan, and there they mourned with a great and very sore lamentation. And he made a mourning for his father seven days. And when the inhabitants of the land 
of the Canaanites saw the mourning in the floor of Atad, they said, This is a grievous mourning to the Egyptians, wherefore the name of it was called Abel Mizram, which is beyond Jordan. And his sons did unto him according as he commanded them. For his sons carried him into the land of Canaan, and buried him in the cave of the field of Mashpelah, which Abraham bought with the field for a possession of a burying place of Ephron the Hittite before Mamre. And Joseph returned into Egypt, he and his brethren, and all that went up with him to bury his father after he had buried his father. And when Joseph brethren saw that their father was dead, they said, Joseph will peradventure hate us and will certainly requite us all the evil which we did unto him. And they sent a messenger unto Joseph, saying, Thy father did command before he died, saying, So shall ye say unto Joseph, Forgive, I pray thee now, the trespass of thy brethren and their sins, for they did unto thee evil. And now we pray thee, Forgive the trespass of thy servants, of the God of thy father. And Joseph wept when they spake unto him. And his brethren also went and fell down before his face, and they said, Behold, we be thy servants. And Joseph said unto them, Fear not, for am I in the place of God? But as for you, ye thought evil against me, but God meant it unto good, bring to bring to pass, as it is this day, to save much people alive. Now therefore fear ye not, I will nourish you and your little ones, and he com comforted them and spake kindly unto them. And Joseph dwelt in Egypt, he and his father's house, and Joseph lived a hundred and ten years. And Joseph saw Ephraim's children of the third generation, the children also of Meshur, the son of Manasseh, were brought up upon Joseph's knees. And Joseph said unto his brethren, I die, and God will surely visit you, and bring you out of this land unto the land which he sware to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. And Joseph took an oath of the children of Israel, saying, God will surely visit you, and ye shall carry up my bones from hence. So Joseph died, being a hundred and ten years old, and they embalmed him, and he was put in a coffin in Egypt. And that concluded chapter 50 and the end of the book of Genesis in the Holy Bible. I just want to take this moment to give us a round of applause for having finished the first book of the Holy Bible. Hip, hip, hooray! A round of applause. At this point, I would like to turn your attention to our prayer journal. Now, today is Thursday, January 18th. So according to my daily prayer calendar for the week, Thursday is all about Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving occurs in the United States as a national holiday on a Thursday in November. So to help me remember what I need to pray for each week, I designate Thursday as the day of thanksgiving to God. Throughout the day today, just think of opportunity to thank God, to appreciate Him, to let Him know how much He had meant to you and continue to love upon Him and praise Him. I do not pray on Thursday. I use it as a thanksgiving day, as a day of gratefulness, of a day of recognizing God for all that he has given me, has blessed me and my family, and will continue to do so for his guidance and protection. So I recommend that you do the same for, for you as well. Take the time today to appreciate and thank God. And with that, I would like to introduce the action verb of the day. I like to choose the word forgive. Forgiving or forgive is very powerful because sometimes when people wrong us and we keep it internally and we stay mad at them, but the thing is they go on with their life and we're stuck in this past of 
being mad, being angry, and it does not help us. It does not free up our mind for greater things. So I would recommend throughout the day, as you are going about your work, just think about the word forgive. There's someone that you need to forgive or a situation that you need to forgive or um, a family member, a friend, a co-worker. Just think of that. If there was something in the past that was done to you that you haven't let go yet and it's still bothering you, just think of the word forgive and let it go and give it up to God and let God take care of it. Forgive so you can free your mind and spirit to go on and do greater things. With that, our time together today have come to an end. And thank you so much for going, coming here and reading through the Bible with me. And I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Until then, have a cheerful day.